I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Gen G and HLE during round three of the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Ben, you need it. And even early on, I think even when you do get the Leandries, it's not really going to matter because I think the sustain get, is too high. I think you kind of need like Leandries, Oblivion, Old. Um, he's going for the kill. Flash on in, and Kane is in a lot of trouble. He is going to flash away, and now it's Dorn in a lot of trouble as the knockup does not come in, and Kane picks up first blood. Peanut is here. Should have this. Yeah, I mean, there's no flash, so just flash on in, and there it is. Three hits. Yeah, and down he just go. Total gold ends up going in. Every time you walk in and up and threaten a charm, you eat a lot of damage in return. This is on Vision from Humble Esports. Knock up here on Delight, essentially just zoning them away, but he is going to get the lick down onto the hands. Well, just threatening it. I think this pick is going to continue to be relevant throughout. Oh, they are uh, uh, got very dead. Everybody is here, and Keen's just going to equalize with the wave. He knows he's dead. Kill will go over to Peanut, and he doesn't even really kill all the minions. That um, Viper is fine. Doran is taking everything, and this time with the Ignite is actually struggling and gets flashed on. Ults in, and oh! now they turn it around! You've got to be kidding me! Peanut here again, top of the morning with this Pangu, and Doran gets it's the like, full combo. Doran's like, I can totally outheal your damage, and then like, the end of a flame spitter, he's like, uh, I'm good. I'm fine. It's like, kind of okay. Uh, this dragon... Looks to be going the way. Canyon gonna hop over the wall though, and it does go to Canyon. Just slaps that one down with this W, but now this fight going heavily the way of Humble and Esports Priest is barely gonna get away, but Lands will go down first. The light's still on the chase here. Gets the slow on a Canyon, but that's a Jax. As the flash on in with the charm is huge from the side of Zekka. Uh, that's a second kill as Doran even gonna zone Toby away from the fight. I love how this composition plays. It's so fun seeing the Viari. As soon as Zekka starts getting kills, the chase down potential is there. The setup was good. The tough information. Hmm. And he knows it. A good sixth sense on these things, honestly. Um, it's, uh, stop watching the thing. Yeah, I mean, it was way too powerful for <laughs> the gold that it was... Uh, that it cost. As the slow comes down with the zap and Peanut, he's so tanky, he is going to go down, but the Devour comes through and Delight is in a really rough spot himself. Peanut now trying to flash away. He is going to barely get away thanks to Delight as... Well, the lightning. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe kill. Jovi does not have vision of this and he's oh. going to get flashed on. No flash here for Jovi himself. Just waiting for that cooldown to see if he can get away and just the... The edge of that one is going to hit away the Zekka, but it's not going to be enough as Doran will follow up with his own ult, and that will be... A little bit of a misplay from Zekka getting caught by the um, uh, Empress Divide. You saw him try to step away from it, but didn't catch it, but it didn't matter in the end. Rek'Sai just so good for chasing down targets with that ultimate. Uh, tower picked up, is traded in the bot lane. We also have two items for the Jinx as well. Dragon's uh, up now. Oh, whoa. Chovy TP right in front of that one, but at least Cannon is there. The Equalizer is huge value. Forces out the Devourer already, and now Delight's in a little bit of a struggle, but Lahen's also getting super low, ticking away, and Doran follows over the top as Canyon trying to get away, and Chovy looking for the angle, but he gets Y ultimate, and immediately they do take out the Jinx, though. As the Zonius comes out, and Chovy, he wants to carry this fight all by himself. And it looks like he might just be able to create the space for Paze on the chase. As the Flash of the Wall is not going to catch the Rek'Sai, but still a nice fight here for Gen.G. I cannot imagine how much Fun Life Esports would be stomping this series if not for Chovy. It feels like every game, every fight, he has to be the most impactful member to give Gen definitely a bit of a lifeline for Gen.G. Paze as well now, 2-0-1 on the Zeri. Oh, a play to be made here, maybe, as uh, we're going deep into that back line. Once again, the four-man into four-man knockup. You've got to be kidding me. They're going to take out one of them. Actually, two is now the front line is being burned here. By Keen picks up two kills by himself, but the back line was accessed the entire time by Doran and Delight. And Viper was untouched the entire fight. Just such a beautiful engage. I feel like one of life esports playing as a unit, the engages they find. Just a treat to watch, honestly. And once again, it looked like he was a little bit hesitant. It looked like Peanut was... Hey, Keen, he did an insane amount of damage in that last fight. Maybe if he's doing more, 
uh, could be able to like get something going on their side with their engage, yeah. and then maybe you know you burst someone down. But if he's going tanky, you don't. His ear build again. I thought he was going to go the damage build in this game. It appears not. Two bruisery AP champs here on the set of Gen G. Doran's eating some damage, but his red side delights really the one. He goes way too deep. We've seen so many people get caught in that exact corridor. But you still have so much power in these fights. Look at the amount of pings that are going down here from the side of Home Life Esports. They want to fight this. And I mean, you still have nice pick potential. You take someone out immediately. Maybe you get it going. Also, a potential for the seal as Equalizer doesn't do much. They get in the back line. It does go the way of Cannon and paces over the wall. They go super deep for this one as Toby goes deep himself. But Viper gets away. Zek over the wall with the flash and will pick up a second kill. Viper on the chase here. Charm on a Chovy. And Keen is just a bit too tanky right now. Uh, and maybe this is where Genji can get a big resurgence. They got a lot of gold from the previous passages of play. Oh, Delight. Oh, Delight. He's going to flash away. The Equalizer doesn't do much. But now Toby gets the Devour. Does Delight. Saves him for a little bit. But the dive is still there. Everybody on the side of Genji getting under that turret. As now the turn trying to come out here. But there's not a lot of damage left on the side of Humble Life Esports. And Pays is running rampant in that back line. Zekka is barely going to get over the wall with his halt getting good. Genji want to rush this immediately because I know Jinx has to run over here. Uh, well, okay, they're going to pull it out. And then they are going to rush it down. And Peanut still could try to send it, but I think that's pretty risky. And they're just going to let it go. Genji pick up so points on the Mountain Soul. And now they're actually in a... You have the enemy team carries going tanky, and they have double mountain. It feels really bad. Uh, unless oh. Toby just stands on choppers, but the turnaround is coming in, and now Doran is in a lot of trouble. He's going to be burned down, as nobody on the side of Homelay Esports could follow up on that one. And Genji, a pick, and maybe a Baron. Kind of seeing what can happen if the Rek'Sai does end up falling behind a bit. He's just getting shredded. Not able to buy enough time with the ult, not able to get off in the CC as Zekka. <laughs> Well, at least he has the Banshees, I guess. And now, just gonna ult into the Nautilus, and Toby finds an angle, only hits the top catch, and he's so low! A chance here for Amelie Esports, but it is Delight to go down first. The flash on in, Viper doesn't have any more summoners. He's gonna go down, and the chase of this comp from Gen G. The team fight setup from Gen G has really just been so good, baiting HLE in in that situation, and now it's two members alive. Doran is sporting soon. They're gonna have to try and stop the game from ending here and now. Zekka, I think he needs this ult to actually... Oh, he's gonna get the smite down. Will Peanut, and now the turn, and then four-man knockup comes in! Gives them a chance to pull this game back! You've gotta be kidding me once again! Another charm is gonna come in and hit base, and they clean them up entirely in the base! Just when you think the game is ending, they managed to find their way back in. The question is Humble Life Esports. Banana Brush control for Gen Team. They have control of this area. And they execute it. As here we go, Zekka on in. Very nice hook here from the hands into the wall as Doran goes in. And the rocket hits the front line and it just looks like Doran is unkillable, but he eventually goes down and out. Toby is in the back line. A very awkward devour as Viper. He gets a reset, but he has no summoners and he doesn't have the damage. But now a front line for Zekka. A chance, but the divide comes in and Toby stands tall alongside a pace. They do the damage in the pit and that might just be enough as they take down the Mountain Soul. Oh, but Zek is actually keeping in. But uh, Toby's insane right now. He's very fed himself. And so Pace is also Zeri. They're so bulky. I mean, even Zeri has such high base stats. But like, Zeri is the squishiest target on this Genji roster. And Hollow Knight Esports composition relies on getting resets. Hard to get any when they're so bulky. All right, gonna go for Lahens. Forces the Flash. Spirit Rush utilized. And uh, now they're on the run. It's kind of difficult to get away from this comp. It's like you're forcing Genji back. Well, yeah, you're going to force them back. You're going to force a fight, I would imagine. I mean, they could even look at the Nexus turrets, but now Bax coming in. Now, like, these sports don't want to overstep. Toby looking for an angle now. Oh, look at the hens. Yeah, he's thinking about it, surely. As is Toby. Delight looking pretty, looking pretty tasty right now. Look at him trying to just hobble his way out of here, and the Equalizer are going to slow him down even more. The light, though, is on the top catch as flash forward here from Keen, trying to just get that damage in. And now Doran, he gets a knockout, but there's no follow up here. Ults in, flashes away. And now a chance here for Jovi, gets in, gets a sweep, doesn't hit much. And now he has to go into his own. Yes. And now Peanut over the wall. He's not going to get over the wall. Not going to get over the wall. Maybe a, a good thing, actually. <laughs> See? Yeah, a long wall there. You can tell he wanted to fight, but like Baron's up, Elder's up. You have to make something happen. A charm. 
and it's Anson. Canyon gets in. It's the stun up to everybody, and that's going to be the end of the Jinx, and maybe just the end of the game. And Not only is it a huge win for Gen G, but such a tilter for Honor Life Esports. They must have felt that game was completely in control, and then suddenly everyone in Gen G starts building tank, and they're all just unkillable. Get him out in Seoul, build some tank items, and win some team fights as a death ball. They do exactly that. Gen G gonna take a 42 and a half minute game here as game three in the series and take the lead two to one. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.